here we are going to discuss the characteristics of capacitor and inductor we will take certain parameters to discuss the characteristics for capacitor and inductor the first parameter we are going to take is series equivalent capacitance or inductance sorry this is equivalent capacitance so if two capacitors are attached in series then they will behave just like the resistances if they are connected in parallel and two inductors in series just behave like the two resistors connected in series so the next parameter is parallel equivalent capacitance and the capacitors in parallel just simply add up while the inductors in parallel have the same behavior just like the resistances in parallel next we have the voltage current relationship for capacitor and inductor so the voltage across capacitor is basically the integration of the current across the capacitor that is equal to 1 over c integration limits are from t naught to t i current and plus the voltage across the capacitor at time t naught and which is equal to q t naught over capacitance so that is equal to basically q is equal to cv and the voltage across inductor is directly proportional to the time rate of change of current and l is the constant of proportionality and the next parameter is current voltage relationship for a capacitor which is equal to i c d v over d t time rate of change of voltage and for the inductor i is equal to i is basically the integration of the voltage current characteristics across the inductor plus i t naught the next parameter is the energy stored in the capacitor or inductor so for capacitor it is 1 over 2 cv square and for inductor it is equal to 1 over 2 l into the square of current next one is how the capacitor and inductor behave to the dc source so if there is a dc source that is connected across the capacitor then capacitor just blocks the dc as it does not allow to pass the dc through it and the inductor behave as a short circuit to dc voltage next we will see the behavior of capacitor if there is no independent source connected across it so let's have a capacitor that is C connected in series to a resistor and the capacitor is initially charged means it's already charged let's suppose the voltage across capacitor is vt and the current passing through the resistor is ir and passing through capacitor is ic let's consider a node here at the top of the capacitor and resistor connection so when the time is equal to zero as the capacitor is initially charged so we assume that v zero is equal to v naught voltage across the capacitor and the energy is equal to one over two c v naught square so this is the vt at time t is equal to zero so we called it v zero now let's take a node here and call it node one and apply kcl at this node one so the current entering is equal to current leaving so both the currents are leaving through this node and we will write ic that is the current across capacitor as both the currents are leaving so they will be positive ic plus ir is equal to zero and current passing through the capacitor is equal to c dv over dt plus current passing through the resistor is v over r and that is equal to zero so divide this equation by c we will get dv over dt plus v over rc that is equal to zero so this is the first order differential equation because only the first derivative of voltage is involved in it the time constant tau is equal to rc now by rearranging and integrating this first order differential equation we will we will get vt is equal to v naught e power minus t over tau this is the voltage 
response that we have find for the capacitor as this response is due to the initial stored energy and not depends on the on some external voltage source so this is called the natural response of the circuit so similarly let's suppose a series combination of inductor and resistor and the voltage across resistor b v r and the voltage across inductor b v l let's take a direction for current now at time t is equal to 0 i at t is equal to 0 is equal to i naught and the energy stored in the inductor at time t is equal to 0 is equal to 1 over 2 l i naught square now let's apply kvl in this loop it will be vl plus vr and vl is equal to l di over dt plus vr is equal to r into i by ohm's law now divide this by l we can get di over dt plus r over l into i is equal to 0 so this is the first order differential equation in case of inductor and the time constant tau here for the inductor will be equal to l over r so rearranging this above equation and integrating we will get i t is equal to i naught e k power minus t over tau this is the current response in case of an inductor